Hello my friends and welcome back to Cat on a Sofa and I have an idea for a new video. I'm going to call it What's in the Box. Yes, I'm referencing Seven. No, I don't care that I'm ripping it off. And uh, yeah, I've uh, every so often I come into a bit of unexpected money, usually through gambling. Yesterday was one of those times I came into some unexpected money through gambling. I had a little bit of luck on the roulette and... Um, Let's just say it included doubling up on uh, my wife's favourite number, which is 20, and um, us, mm, resulting in about £350 of pure profit. And so £175 each. Uh, what's the one thing that a movie collector is going to buy with £175? Well, not all of it, but I did buy a good chunk of Blu-rays. Hooray. Uh, I did forget to buy the, um, the other... Uh, the other Hulk steelbook that I wanted from eBay, I just completely forgot and I'd already spent literally the whole thing. Because I think that um, if you win money, you should just spend it and enjoy it because it's money you never had in the first place. So yeah, I didn't order my Hulk steelbook. Um, that's quite regretful. But I still technically have a Hulk steelbook. So anyway, I'm sorry to ramble. So anyway, before I do carry on here... Um, if you do enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'm just going to get straight to it. So what's in the box? Now, I don't need a knife to open this. Uh, I could probably just open it as easy from the back, but I've started collecting knives. And, um, any excuse to, um, any excuse to, um, use my little knife collection here. Right. Uh, I have two so far. I might show them on camera at some point. Ooh, wow. Packaging. Packaging for days. Right then. And I have slip covers. This is good. Right, so what do we have? We have Return of the Jedi 4K in a slip cover. Ooh, we have Attack of the Clones in a slip cover. We have Phantom Menace with a slip cover. I hope they all have slip covers. A New Hope with a slip cover. We also have The Empire Strikes Back with a slip cover. Wait, wait, wait. So we have Wonder Woman 1984 and The Accountant. Sorry, eight movies. We have eight slip covers. Wow, that's fantastic. I love um I love I love it when you get some good slip covers. Wow, that's um not a very good slip cover though, is it? It seems to be bowing out like uh, an awful lot. But yeah, I, I mean I I would never buy or not buy a film just because it has a slip cover. However, I um I do prefer it when they do have them. So let's go. Let's go through these a little bit more slowly. So the accountant I only saw once. It completely um, evaded my radar back when it came out. And uh, I think I watched it on, I want to say Amazon Prime. And I enjoyed it. Uh, I've been meaning to um, pick it up. And it's in Zavi's 2 for 24 sale. So yeah. So this and this were in their 2 for 24. And uh, I, I heard, I've heard really bad things about Wonder Woman. But... I'm I'm a collector and I wanted to get the whole DCEU on um on 4K. I still don't have that, but I do know I believe have the uh, entire DCEU with the exception of Black Adam, but I do have that pre-ordered and that should be coming I expect it to take payments around about Tuesday next week. Um hopefully be here by Friday. So yeah, The Accountant, um, very, very good Ben Affleck film. Um, it's far more violent than I uh, expected it to be with a name like The Accountant. Maybe that's why I just kind of glossed over it, um, judging a movie by its name without knowing anything about it. Um, but that's okay, because I've got it now. So that's that's that one. And Wonder Woman, as I said, I haven't seen this one. It's the only one that I haven't seen, well, except for Black Adam. But uh, I did want to get. I, I did want to. I did want to get them all, and now I have them. And I actually, I think I will continue with my um, recent watch through of the DC EU. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm due to watch Suicide Squad next because I'm watching them in production order. Uh, and I don't hate. Uh, I don't hate the Suicide Squad. No, I don't hate Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad is the um, the sequel rebooty thing uh so yeah i think i'm just gonna watch them all and then get around to this because uh, i haven't seen aquaman either yeah that's really bad i haven't seen aquaman either so uh i i don't know what it is all of a sudden uh recently 
I decided I I thought I was missing one then. Um all of a sudden recently I decided I wanted to get um all the Star Wars movies. And um I don't know what kind of triggered it. Uh so yeah, there we go. Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, New Hope, Empire, and Jedi. There they are in order. So yeah, um I I suddenly decided that I really really wanted to get the um I I was in CEX as frequently as I am. Um and and they had uh, a Star Wars episodes one to six standard Blu-ray box set. And it was a bit ratty, but that's not, you know, if I'm picking up something like dirt cheap, it was £12 for the set. And, like, I I knew, I even knew in the shop if I bought it, I would lament the fact that, uh, that it wasn't 4K. And I just told myself I wasn't that bothered about Star Wars for some reason. And I just ended up picking it up um, with uh, Rise of the Skywalker. No, um, The Force Awakens. Um, on 4K, um, and then I got home, opened The Force Awakens 4K, and, uh, I got home, and I opened The Force Awakens on 4K, to realise that they put the, uh, the, the 1080p and the 3D version in my 4K box instead of the 4K version, uh, and I didn't think it would be a problem, I thought, well, this was on Christmas Eve, so I had to wait until, like, the Tuesday, um, and I didn't think it would be a problem. I, think be, well, I thought it would just be a case of taking in the discs and getting them swapped. And when I got there, they didn't have the discs. So I guess somebody had already given them away in a, possibly a 3D box. Whatever. But uh, then, like, a couple of days later, I, I just thought, you know what? I don't want this um, standard Blu-ray box set. I just wanted to get them all in 4K. And um, wouldn't you know it, they Disney have a sale on, on all the major places um so yeah i went to zavi and um priced them all up and it was like 124 pound or something like that for the 10 that i needed uh however i didn't have 110 pounds uh, i didn't have 125 pounds spare so i kind of just pushed it to the back burner and then um i was looking what else was in the sale and i saw the accountant and wonder woman and i thought you know i added them to my basket but i i actually kind of gave up um Hope of getting them. And then yesterday I won some money. Uh, hooray. And, um, you know, uh, it did um, cross my mind to put the money aside and put it towards a new TV, um, which my wife quickly squashed, uh, saying that she would refuse to help me save for a TV. And I, I, I would like a nice OLED, but I don't think it's quite in the cards at the minute. So anyway, long story short, I ended up getting all of these, um, uh, yeah, in, in, um, in addition to a bunch of other things, but I, I've been jonesing for the Star Wars films, I don't know what it, for, for a while there, I kind of not stopped caring about Star Wars, but it was kind of, I don't know, it stopped being a priority for some reason, and I wasn't that bothered about them until all of a sudden, and now I really, really want to re-watch them all in 4K, and, um, I now have episodes one to six. So, um, well, actually, I have a little bit more than that because I also have Rise of the Skywalker. No, this one doesn't have a fucking slip. Uh, and it's going to stick out like a, an absolute sore form. But this was only like a five at, and uh, if I end up getting the rest, I will probably just buy it new just because having 11 Star Wars movies with a slip... Um, sorry, 10 Star Wars movies with a slip and missing one of them would be uh, really, really annoying. Yeah. So, that being said, I picked this up recently. Let's move these out of the way. So, when I knew this was in there anyway, although I didn't really look at it, I have the Hobbit set of these. So... Yeah, I, I really like this lenticular box. And it kind of made me a little sad to find out that you can't actually get uh, the other two um, um, episodes, the eight and nine. You can't get those in this 
case and I just wanted them for the matching set because they look rather nice. Uh, so yeah, but when I took my 4K set, uh, 4K movie back, uh, I was just going to pick this up in, um, in addition to it. Uh, I ended up picking it up instead of because they didn't have the 4K discs. So yeah, but I just wanted that for the sake of having it. And then you have my other Star Wars movies here and I have Rogue One not in 4K and I actually really really like Rogue One I think it's one of my absolute favorites I am gonna have to get there in 4K now just to complete the set so I now need one uh I need five yeah I bought six I have I need to get five down because there are 11 um if I'm replacing the one that I have uh yeah, uh, if if uh, I can take advantage of Zavi's uh, buy one get one free or well, sorry two for well they're essentially fifty percent off because they are actually like, like it, it's buy one get one free in all but name. Uh so two for twenty four. So I think I'm gonna get like the remaining Star Wars is and uh, I don't know. I'm sure I can find something in the uh, two for twenty four that I want in addition to that. So yeah, that's my Star Wars collection now, guys. This is massively improved, and I'm very happy about this. And I now have far more movies to watch than I ever seem to have time to watch them. Uh, like, I still have The Matrix, and, um, like, two Monsterverse films, and three Jurassic Parks, and a whole bunch of Stallone stuff, and, uh, I, you know, I still haven't watched The Crystal Skull. Oh, man, uh, I'm really falling behind here, uh, because... I don't know where it is. There's a difference between watching um, a new pickup and like a film that you've seen a whole bunch of times. You, you, you can watch a film you've seen a whole bunch of times anytime you want, right? And it doesn't really matter. However, if I'm watching something for the first time, or if like I if I've bought it on 4K and I'm watching it in 4K for the first time, like I've bought all these Star Warses, even though I've seen them, I want to just sit down and watch them properly. And with two kids and you know everything else and I only really have the weekend, like, I, I work from home, but, like, I have to, um, so I can't just watch films then, and, you know, so realistically, I only really have, for the most part, uh, Friday nights, and sometimes uh, my wife works, like, evenings, uh, so, like, after the kids go to bed, I might get a chance to watch a film some nights, um, so yeah, it's it's hard to find time to watch new films, right? And uh, so as as a result, they've kind of built up, and I'm really starting to ramble now. So I think I'm just going to call it there, guys. So if you do enjoy, if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And um, yeah, that's about it. Do you like my knife? I like my knife. I have a new one ordered too, with my winnings. It's very pretty can't wait to show it anyway so yeah what's in the box do you like the new what's in the box series guys let me know is it something you want to see more of um hell if you wanted to send me some briefings to open feel free anyway um i'll catch you next time guys